The Center for Eastern Mediterranean Studies has built a tradition in organizing international graduate conferences. This year, the conference, the third and the largest, has brought more than 30 participants worldwide from universities, prestigious universities and research centers in order to discuss and address and explore in an interdisciplinary way the theme of the conference. The Center for Eastern Mediterranean Studies believes into fully integrating our over 40 research students in the field of ancient philosophy, in late antique, Byzantine, Islamic and Ottoman studies into our academic activities. Convening such a graduate conference gives the students the valuable first-hand experience of organizing a large international conference early on in their careers. At the same time, it allows all participants, participants to build international networks. I study religion in late antiquity, right? And, and that's really what it's all about. There's tradition, there's transmission, there's what is important. And then how does what's important change? Who decides what's important? Who disagrees with what's important? Uh, I mean, these are all questions that everyone on some level is dealing with. So, so I thought that an important th thing to come to and talk about. It's just been wonderful sort of you know, having coffee, getting to know people, staying at the residence center and meeting other people and seeing how, what a nice international community it is. The topic of the conference was very interesting. Um, and it fitted completely into my, not only my PhD thesis, but the entire research. Also, um, keynote speakers uh, with their lectures also sounded very interesting. And of course, but not least, the other PhD students that also participate here and to um, listen to what they have to say and what they do and how, what they research actually was something that was really, really interesting and helpful in a lot of ways. Of course, networking is something that is at this point very, very important. In Armenia, unfortunately, there are no so many opportunities you know, for communicating with uh, uh, colleagues from other countries. And uh, that was another uh, reason I have decided to apply for this uh, conference. And I'm very happy that I'm here. It, it is probably also somehow leading you to trying new ideas and uh, trying new methods in, in your research. So I think that's, that's a, a very important and even a necessary component of this uh, com conference. I found it very inspiring until now. I mean, we had the afternoon sessions yesterday and I thought it was some very good and inspiring paper, I mean, mostly textually based, whereas I come from the more material culture side, being an archaeologist working in, in late antiquity. Um, so I think it's a very good conference and I'm looking forward to the rest of the days. For a serious research nowadays uh, has to be about transformation and change of culture. We are constantly fighting against the picture of the static cultures, which are then replaced by another culture and there is no development in them. Especially Byzantium has the reputation of being extremely static or frozen. And this is exactly what we all want to demonstrate, that this is wrong and not the case. Well, I think the interaction uh, with other presenters has, pr has proved to be really useful for my, for my own research. Uh, there are some close links um, and I, I will be better able to contextualise my own research thanks to not only the keynote lectures but also papers presented by colleagues. And I hope that we'll set to continue tomorrow, but especially uh, today was just brilliant. Um, and I've, I've gained uh, many more insights for my own research, the connections that you make with people from other universities um, and from other research environments who might apply different techniques in their research. It's all very helpful. And I think uh, it offers a great, great opportunities to grow in your own academic uh, career.